Hey there, Virgo. Hope you guys' weekend was good to you guys. Appreciate you. Let's find out what the cards are saying for you this evening. What's coming out for your highest good? Let me flip that one over. All right. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Virgo. Time about Virgo. What are we talking about, please? Got some frenemies here. Two more. Woo. Got some drama setting in for these frenemies. Let me get another one. You got a new person coming towards you. And these friends were trying to get in the way of this. And we got some gossiping chicken heads on board. Bunch of chicken heads. If they ain't talking about somebody, they got something in their mouth. That's what chicken heads do. Somebody's trying to steer you away. Trying to steer your person away from you. Alright. What's overall energy for Virgo, please? Something has to be surrendered. Somebody can't control an outcome here. Because somebody surely tried to control something, but they ain't in control at all. That's why this drama is setting in for these people. You're activating your abundance. So you've had people trying to plot against you while you've been in this abundant energy here. You're no longer placing limits on yourself. Like you're limitless and somebody didn't want you to have this. There's a certain union that you're meant to have with somebody that's going to bring more abundance by coming together. And the people didn't want to see this happen. There we go. Independent and free and brave at that matter. So your independence is what's stopping some kind of control against you. You've had some like friend groups here that were trying to like get you to be still like to, to be loyal to them even though they're frenemies. You've broken free from these type of energies. Good things are about to happen for you and everybody is very much aware of this. That's that abundance that you're drawing towards you. And the drama that's setting in for these people that tried to come up against what's rightfully yours. Virgo. You're joyful. Look at you. You're happy. You're looking at life differently. You're simply disconnecting from like old versions of yourself. And other people trying to hold you back in old versions of yourself. And that is like, there's no more control over you. You're looking at life in a whole different lighting for yourself. Beautiful. And your manifestations are coming in. Love, abundance, whatever you're calling in, it's coming towards you. By staying focused on what I want, I manifest it. And this is what you're doing. So people were plotting against you while you stayed focused on your manifestations. Power of the spoken word. So there's something about your wording, something about your affirmations. Make sure you're only causing, calling positive things towards you. So what you speak into existence is what you're going to attract. So you very important to switch up that to high vibing, positive affirmations. Don't sit there and tell yourself that you can't have things. You can't achieve things because that's what you're going to attract towards you because you're speaking that. So we're changing up this wording. Somebody does not like there's something about your prophetic words. You have like... Okay, so you predicted something that was going to happen within this friend group here. And now that it's happened, they're freaking out. <laughs> You're the truth, man. You you predicted something for these people and it's happening to these people. <laughs> Virgo. Where there's a will, there's a way. This is you pat paving these golden opportunities. This is you moving forward on your journey here. Going towards these, manifest ma ugh, these manifestations. Somebody tried to stop you from weaving this path here for yourself, but you're still weaving it. You're safe here. You were meant not to feel safe. Somebody wanted you not to feel safe with something that you're meant to go towards, and that's not happening. This new connection that's meant to happen for you is meant to make you feel safe. There's, a, okay, there's another new energy trying to come towards you. Somebody wants to make you feel very comfortable and safe to move forward with them. But this is a facade. Make sure you're seeing that for what it is. Let your inner fire warm, but not burn you. This is you not self-destructing anymore. This is you not feeding into the drama. This is like not setting yourself on fire to please others. You've got a very fiery, passionate, dominant energy to you. People didn't want you to see this for yourself. It's actually scary. That there's something about your predictions that's very scary. You predicted something for these people and it's happening and now they're panicking. Because there's something about you speaking more truths and people are panicking because something's already happened. 
And now they're worried about more things happening that you've spoken. There's something about your powerful words that's not to be played with. If you speak things over people, that happens to them. You got people panicking. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. Virgo. <clears throat> Try to shuffle again. You're releasing negativity. This is you surrendering. Things are out of your control. How people move, what they say about you, out of your hands. We can't control what people say or do, but we can control how we respond to it. We can control it by not connecting with these type of people anymore. And this is what's liberating you, empowering you. Strong Scorpio placements. You got a lot of people that are in disbelief there. I'm telling you, there's something here that you channel about these people happening to them. You predicted something and they're panicking. They can't believe what's happening. You had people here that didn't want you to believe in yourself, believe in your manifestations, and you're still doing this for yourself. Good for you. All right. Tell me about these frenemies. Tell me about these frenemies. <coughs> Excuse me. So, there's like a masculine that's meant to come towards you, and there's like another masculine that's been emotionally manipulating your masculine. Trying to make your masculine feel like something's not meant to, for them. This union is not meant for them. You're not meant for them, but that's a facade. Somebody's like, somebody's jealous of somebody having something here. You've got some frenemies here that didn't want you to be aware of their tactics. Like you're very emotionally aware and that has empowered you. Tell me more. You've got some like friendly faces. These are wolf in sheep's clothing. Trying to come back here with an apology. So make sure you're seeing something for what it is. Make sure that you're aware of like new friends trying to come toward you and being overly kind. This is also like, don't like, make sure you're seeing the, the red flags even in friend unions, guys. Because there's something here about this towards you. Okay. There's like a feminine motherly figure here. There's somebody that is connected either to you or your masculine. That's a mother figure that is like swaying a friend group to get in somebody's head about you. This isn't working. You're attracting everything towards you and everybody's aware of this. Somebody's been trying to get in the way of you, which you are the empress here. Somebody is overwhelmed. Somebody is very overwhelmed here. Because they can't stop a union from happening. That somebody's been trying to like triangulate something from happening for you. There's like some kind of dark practitioners in a certain friend group as well. That's been trying to like hide out in the background and conjuring things up to attack you or speaking things over you. Gossiping about you. That's not working. You're moving away from this. Your person's moving away from this. And people can't handle this. Tell me about this drama. Because <clears throat> you're standing in this firm, independent energy for yourself. You've aired something out. And drama is setting in. The more that, you, the more that you're on the come up, the more that this drama is setting in, you've predicted something here. You're predicting something that you are firmly standing in your empowerment, your independent energy here. And it's like, Delivering some kind of karma to these people that you've predicted and they're panicking. You've got people that wish they wouldn't have like committed to this. They wish they would have like rolled on their own and they're regretting it. Tell me more. Drama. Somebody wishes they would have waited to do what they've done. And I'm telling you, there is something that you predicted and it's coming towards them. And they're worried about what else is coming towards them because you're still, you're predicting more things. And they're already nervous because things have already happened and more is to come. There's something about you speaking things over people that make them nervous, very nervous. Three of Swords. Got a lot of heartbroken people here that are very much aware of what's coming for them. Ooh. Somebody's worried about a death. You could have predicted a death. There could have been a death that already happened. Or you predicted this and they're worried about this happening now. You predicted some kind of loss and endings for these people. And they're panicking because it came true. Man. There's also this love offer coming towards you. And somebody is very much aware of this as well. Somebody tried to hold this back. And somebody wishes they would have held back from you. 
You're very powerful, man. I'm telling you, all you got to do is speak something over somebody and it happens. Whew, you're powerful, man. Tell me about this new person. Tell me about this new person. All right. So you definitely got some eyes watching you on the internet. There's a new cycle coming in with your actual person, but there's somebody else watching you trying to come forward as well. You're this Queen of Cups. People like you. There's something about your energy that's very powerful, very magnetic. It makes people feel safe and comfortable. You're meant to have a union with somebody where you're meant to feel safe because you haven't felt safe in certain love connections in your past. This is about to change for you. There is somebody wanting to love bomb you. I keep getting that. Make sure you're seeing something for what it is. Something is now being illuminated somebody here. And somebody's making a decision to try to come toward you with the love offer here. And your person is making a decision to come toward you as well. But there's somebody else trying to get in the way of this. There is like a new person here that finds you very attractive. There is this energy here where somebody only wants to come towards you. They want to make it seem like they have their best interest where you feel safe and comfortable. But somebody is like lusting after you and that's the only reason they do want to come towards you. Your actual person wants the best for you. They see they see you like they see you who you are to a core and they love and admire you and they want to connect with you. They want to have a long term commitment with you. But somebody else wants to play with you. Make sure you're seeing something. Yep. Somebody's trying to hold something back here. Make sure you're seeing something for what it is. Somebody is trying to like keep you stuck. Look, if somebody is trying to get you to look at a connection with them, making it seem like that's the connection that you're meant to have, only to redirect you from your actual person that's meant to come towards you. Somebody wants to take action towards you. Only to stop you, slow something down, like stop, not slow it down, but stop it altogether is what somebody's plan is. Yeah, there's somebody else trying to interfere with this. Don't let them do that. Tell me about this gossiping. <clears throat> Tell me about this gossiping. What were they talking about? What these chicken heads talking about? Oh, they were talking some mad smack about you. To make you feel sorry for yourself. Like, shred your confidence down. Like, jab at your insecurities, your trauma, your pain is what these people were gossiping. They were hoping that they were going to be able to achieve something to just make you sit in a corner and just fall into pieces and just cry and get upset. It's not working out. you got some people here in regret for gossiping on you. Again, there's something here that you predicted about these people gossiping on you that is happening to them and they're panicking. Tell me more. Somebody could have brought like a death that you went through in the past and tried to use that against you as well. And that didn't work. You've made peace with some kind of death in the past here. Man, look at this illusion makers here. Trying to like create false narratives about you. And they had a good old time here. There is something about your tongue and these people's tongues. All of this nasty energy that they try to speak over you is now happening to them and they can't handle it. Yep, they can't handle it. These people are breaking out in conflict and drama here. I'm telling you, you've predicted something over these people's lives and they're panicking, majorly panicking. They did everything to create chaos and conflict for you only to create it for themselves. These people thought that by speaking over you and talking bad about you that that would have been able to stop an investment that's meant to happen for you that they didn't stop anything. Now you got people wishing that they would have never invested into this because something is happening to them now that you've predicted here. People wanted to isolate you, wanted you to, to be shunned, looked at in a bad lighting. Guess what? Now somebody else has to go through this and they don't like it where, where they tried to put you. There's something here about celebrities involved, cult, secret societies, Illuminati, Freemasons. They were gossiping about you too. They all thought this was fun and games. I'm going to isolate you. I'm going to humiliate you. Now they're about to experience this for themselves. Careful what you wish on people. Careful what you say about people. <clears throat> Some 
somebody did not understand that you've healed from certain things from your past that they were trying to hold against you, shame you, make you feel bad. Those things don't make you feel bad anymore. And now somebody feels freaking stupid, as you should. Somebody thought that this gossiping was going to like form a weapon against you and it was going to prosper and it never did. There is some kind of lusting energy that is still wanting to try to take action towards you. Somebody wants to take action towards you to still try to create some kind of gossip towards you. This is somebody that wants you to make, make you feel comfortable and confident to move forward. Only to get in the way of your actual person here. Don't let them do that. Somebody wants to shame you. Be careful doing that, sir, ma'am. Careful. Tread lightly, mother effer. Tread lightly. Someone could have like said something about you like in connections that you've dealt with. Someone wanted to paint you out as a bad guy, said that you did certain things, but you didn't. It was literally a projection of what these people did to you. Somebody could have said that you've got some like sick pleasure off of sleeping with married men, and that's a lie. That's coming out. Somebody was patiently waiting for something to stick here, and it's not sticking. You've healed. You grew. You're, you're not dealing with gossip. You know what you've done, what you've not done. You know what you're doing and what you're not doing. And you don't need to prove yourself to anybody. This has empowered you. We don't deal with gossiping chicken heads because they hate themselves or they wouldn't be gossiping about anybody. You hate yourself. You're insecure. You're broken on the inside. Go get you some business. I almost called you a name and I'm not going to do it. I'm better than that. All right. I'm talking about walking away. Somebody tried to walk, get a lover to walk away from you. Tried to steer you in a different direction. And somebody's still trying to do this. Somebody's trying to get you to choose them to remove the actual person from you. Tell me more. There's people getting striked down with towers from trying to steer something away from you that's rightfully yours. I'm telling you, there's something here about tower moments hitting people. You have spoken something over people and they're panicking. I keep getting that. There's something that's rightfully yours that somebody was trying to steer you away. Somebody was trying to like steer you away even from your manifestations and this isn't working either. You got family dynamics here that were trying to steer you away from what's rightfully yours. Trying to steer like your person even away from you. Your own family had their mouth on you. Talking about you. Trying to shame you. Anything to cause an ending here. So you had family members that tried to say that you were the reason that something disconnected from them, but it was them. There's a very competitive energy, a female energy that's been doing everything in her power to, to project her own hate and insecurities onto you. Somebody's been competing with you. Somebody's been competing with your manifestations and you're not competing with anybody but yourself and you still won. You had somebody competing with you and you weren't even in competition and they still lost. That's got to burn somebody's ASS up. This feminine, this feminine, this feminine went really hard to hold you back, hold your person back. Somebody feels stuck because they couldn't keep you stuck and somebody couldn't change somebody's perception of you. It, it worked. It might have worked in the beginning, but somebody's redirecting back to you now. And somebody's panicking because something didn't work. I've got water, water, earth, fire, fixed energy, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, water, Leo, air, water, water, Virgo, Gemini, fire, earth, Gemini, and Scorpio, Virgo. There it is again. I'm telling you, you have predicted something over these people's lives and they're panicking. That's why they're watching you closely to see what you're going to say next. <laughs> they're getting drama casted upon them. Well, you've got wishes being bestowed upon you. Magical energies that clearly surround you. Your thoughts are manifesting. Watch what you're speaking. Watch what you're saying to yourself because you're very powerful and magnetic right now. These manifestations are very much attracted to you right now. So watch what you're saying. And if you truly don't want certain things to happen over people's lives, watch what you're speaking over people because you're very powerful. Your words are very powerful. Something was meant to happen by the eclipse in April and it didn't happen. Everything is being redirected back for your highest good. Your manifestations. Somebody was trying to stop your manifestations by the eclipse in April and that didn't happen either. They might have slowed it down, but that's all they could do. Everything's on the come up for you now. Somebody's been trying to do something with your pictures. 
somebody was trying to like, there's pictures of you on altars and jars, people binding your pictures. Somebody was like gossiping, looking at your pictures. That sends evil eye energy your way as well, guys. Somebody was like looking at your pictures from your past and like judging you on your pictures. You're not amused by these people. You could care less what people are saying about you. You're not battling with low-vibing people. You're too busy working on your manifestations and becoming the best version of yourself. Somebody chooses you still. If somebody doesn't want to see this happen. And somebody's trying, somebody else is trying to get you to choose them. Time is running out and everybody's very much panicking here. They're very much aware what's knocking on their doors and they don't like it. Tell me more. You're shaping your reality. You're bringing connections towards you. You're calling your soul tribe in and everybody's panicking. People wanted you to have a lack mindset. They thought this gossiping that they were doing was going to get you to give up. But you ain't giving up. You ain't got nothing to prove to these chicken heads. You're too busy working on yourself. Now these people are going to experience emotional loss, financial loss, because that's what they wanted for you. Be aware of anybody coming towards you, whether it's friends or a love interest trying to come towards you. Because somebody wants to play games with you to get in the way of your actual person here. Fears and securities is what this gossiping was meant to keep you stuck. Things are not what they seem. There's things coming out still and people are nervous about this. You've got a big heart. You're loving. You're compassionate. You're kind. You're generous. And people want to downplay your character. People thought because you have this calm demeanor to you that they were going to be able to like run you over. But you got a whole other side to you that is not to be played with. Somebody wanted you to be looked at as not a good person. But this is who you are. This loving, kind person. And this is what you're attracting towards you. You want somebody that's going to appreciate you because this is who you are. You show up for somebody and you want them to show up for you like this. This is what's going to happen for you. But it's very important not to let another person get in the way of your actual person. Somebody wanted you indecisive, not making the right choices for yourself. And somebody wanted your person to be indecisive about you. And that's not happening anymore. I'm telling you, you've got like a heartbreaking energy that wants to come towards you and make you feel like you're it's safe to move forward, but it's not. Somebody wanted to make you seem like you're a heartbreaker. Like you just got some kind of pleasure off of like sleeping with married men, but that's not who you are. So somebody was lying on that. You've done some inner child healing. Somebody was trying to attack your inner child wounds, trying to use that against you. Abandonment wounds. Daddy issues. Mommy issues is what somebody was trying to do. We've healed that. You look at life in a very playful like energy. You're just a very playful, fun person. Somebody would, you got, Anybody would be blessed to be in your presence just because of the energy that you give off. You inspire people to want to also step into their inner child. It's beautiful. And these outside influences have been going hard to try to shame you, get others to shame you. Guess what? Now they're going to be shamed. You're going to have chapters of your life written out loud and you ain't going to be able to handle the truth. Don't try to ruin somebody's life with lies when yours can be ruined with the truth. Something's starting to feel foreign to you. When your manifestations start coming in, it's going to start feeling a little foreign because you've got a lot of beautiful changes coming your way. So when we have these changes coming in, things are going to start feeling foreign when we start waking up and we start looking at our friends, our family, love connections that we were once connecting to. We want to start experiencing better and we'll start having better. And then, like I said, when these high vibing connections want to make room for you, you may feel like things are a setup, but it's not. You're ready to receive good things, but you need to use your discernment and not letting a lo another love bombing energy come towards you in a in a loving manner whether it's a love interest or a friend here make sure you're seeing something for what it is the universe will test you to make sure that you've learned you've got some people here that are very angry mad at the world how dare you just not stay stuck in this self-pity that we wanted to project onto you we're not doing it you waller in your own pity you're a hater you're a grudge holder you're resentful we ain't doing this these emotions right here is what stops you from manifesting. It is so important to forgive and move forward and not look back at it. These people involved, they'll never be able to manifest because they have these low frequency emotions attached to their, their energy field. They'll never be able to manifest. 
Somebody is trying to come towards you, but somebody knows that something is just a waste of time. Nothing good is going to come out of this, but they're still going to try. You had people here that just said that you were vain. You cared too much about your looks. You only dated people that had things. You used people. That was all lies. Whoever said this about you is literally a projection of themselves. Let me hang on. They told me to go back again. Okay. Somebody is now realizing that something isn't wishful thinking when it comes to you. And you got somebody here that's realizing that something is wishful thinking, trying to approach you because you're not going to fall for it. You're very admired. Somebody thinks that you're just, they love everything about you, scars and all. Somebody didn't want you to see the truth. Somebody didn't want the, your person to see the truth about what was really going on, the gossiping. You're lighting the way for this person. You're showing your person that you're setting strong boundaries within your own life. And this is like inspiring your person to do the same thing. You're the light of this person's life. They ain't never met somebody like you before. They, they love everything they see about you. Virgo. I'm telling you, somebody wants to... I can't make this stuff up. Somebody wants to play with you sexually. Trying to like get you to go on a date and then they want to like get you to a hotel room. Do something with you to make you feel bad about yourself. But make you feel comfortable to like to go to the room with them, but don't do it. Tell me more. Somebody's trying, I'm telling you, somebody's putting on a show trying to come towards you here. Don't let them do that to you, because it's what somebody wants to do. Somebody, well, I'm a man, I can't make this up. Somebody wants to do some sexual acts with you. There could be like hidden cameras in this hotel room, and somebody's trying to plan that against you as well. Somebody was trying to paint you as a sex worker. Uses body to get what they want. Opens legs for anything as long as the price is right type of energy. That's a facade. That's what you do. That's a projection of yourself. Tell me more. Somebody's trying to play you. Don't let them play you. Other people are getting played because it's what they wanted for you though. Stuff's about to pop off and explode. And they're very much aware of this. You got a love story coming towards you, and somebody doesn't want to see this. That's why somebody's trying to come in and be deceitful towards you. Don't let them do that. Somebody wants to, to play with you and then kick you to the curb to make you look a certain way, to add more gossip, to try to make you to try to shame you. Anything to try to stop your manifestations is what somebody's trying to do. And then somebody like wants to give you an STD. Somebody's trying to like give you something. To make you feel bad about yourself. Don't let them do that to you. Somebody could be trying to get you pregnant. Someone could have said that you already are pregnant. Your masculine could be dealing with a, like a false pregnancy. Somebody trying to use something against them. A child. A pregnancy against them. You got somebody here that wants to strip you back down to these insecure wounds that you've dealt with. Anything to stop you from your manifestation is what the goal here is, guys. You've got a lot of insecure, broken people that are projecting their own insecurities onto you. That's what chicken heads do. That's what gossipers do. They're insecure themselves. That's why they gossip. I'm telling you, somebody wants to come towards you and then toss you away like a piece of trash to make you feel bad about yourself. Don't let them do that. And this gossiping. Somebody like wanted to say that you were trash. That you were trashy. But that's another projection of who said that about you. And they all thought that this gossip was going to stick and they were going to sit back and enjoy the show. But guess what? This is what they're getting now. We already know the tea. We're ten steps ahead of these mother effers. Somebody wanted to say you're a bugaboo. You're clingy. You don't know how to take no for an answer. You just don't give up. That's a projection of yourself. Is it not? Yeah, it is. Somebody was trying to record you. There is some kind of recordings going on with this gossiping. That somebody doesn't want to be on recording, but they are. Somebody's destroyed. Somebody's broken over this because somebody wanted to break you. Now they're being broken. Now they're being destroyed. This is how this works, boys and girls. Careful what you wish on people. Careful what you speak on people. Virgo. Your own family was involved with this? Tell me more. Got somebody frustrated here. Somebody is very much aware of what's happening in their life. I'm telling you, you've spoken something over people here. And they're very much aware why it's happening. Got some competitive siblings here. 
that were hired to do something against you and that didn't work. There's some siblings here. There's like siblings arguing over you as well. There's like two brothers here arguing. Somebody doesn't want to see the other brother or the other sister have something here. Tell me more. You're a chain breaker. You've had a lot of attacks try to come against you your entire life for some of you. And everything that's meant to try to stop you, keep you stuck, you keep breaking these chains. You're not placing limits over yourself anymore. Tell me more. Because somebody was definitely trying to talk about daddy issues. Trying to think that that was going to stick. Somebody could have said that you only date older men because you have daddy issues. That's false. That's so false. Somebody's stuck and powerless because it's what they wanted for you. So careful what you speak on people. This is who you are, a spiritual warrior. You're not to be played with. You're fully embracing your North Node energy. You're finding your purpose. And by finding your purpose, you're able to manifest like a mother. Good for you. You're not to be played with. Somebody was trying to control that, trying to stop that. And they can't control nothing because you're fully in your power. And you're smart. You know how to outsmart anybody that tries to come towards you. Like you see through deception here. Good for you. You come from a powerful bloodline. This is like divine judge energy. Because of who you are, you come from a, lo a long line of leaders, warriors, alchemists, healers, shamans, psychics, priestess, witches. Somebody didn't want you to realize this about yourself. And you are. Oh, in the extreme weather that's setting in. I'm telling you, there is something about your wording that you speak on people and it makes them panic. You know how to predict things. You know how to speak things on people. It makes them very nervous. Virgo. You are haunting people's memories here. They thought this gossiping and these th what they were saying was going to haunt you. But guess what? You're haunting people now. Oh, man. Tell me more. Somebody wanted to perceive you as false. You're not who you say you are. But oh, are you? You got a lot of Bible thumpers and churchy people that were passing judgment on you. This is exposing them too. We got some ghosters trying to come back around, whether it's friends or past lovers here. Make sure you're seeing that for what it is. You've got like... Somebody that was like trying to toy with you seemed like they wanted to date you. So you very well have already dealt with the type of energy where somebody was like trying to make it seem like they wanted something with you and then they got what they wanted and they left. There's somebody trying to resurface in your energy that did this to you. So make sure you're seeing something for what it is. You've got sparks flying with a certain connection and somebody's trying to create other sparks to get in the way of your actual sparks. Build those walls of protection here. Continue doing this for yourself. Don't let anybody just have access to you because you got somebody here wanting to play with you. This is what they want to do. They want to come towards you in a passionate way but make it seem like they want something else but they only want sex from you. And that's the type of energy that's trying to come towards you and trying to make you feel comfortable and confident. Labels are so overrated with this mother effer. Don't trust them. You're moving forward, and everybody's very much aware of this. There's like a death happening. That's like removing a certain contract of somebody that was involved with this lying on you. This isn't good. And it has to do with money. So there's a death that's going to like bring money towards you. Oh, you got people nervous because you're speaking some kind of death here. You've got to bond with somebody. And somebody was trying to break that. I'm telling you, somebody is hoping that you'll revisit the past still, whether it's my feminines or my masculine. Somebody's trying, like, somebody's past is trying to knock on somebody's door to pull them backwards from stopping this union here. All right. Tell me about these people. What were they doing? Trying to do something on the inside, and they're still trying to do this, trying to send somebody your way. Whether it's past or new, see something for what it is. Tell me more. The devil's in the details. The devil's been moving through some people. That's why these gossiping. That's why they do what they do. They got the devil attached to them. They got that dark stuff attached to them. Somebody was conjuring up some very dark things and casting it towards you, speaking things over you. And this is what's coming for them now. Tell me more. 
someone could have said something about like you trying to unalive yourself that you could have had like suicide attempts in the past and somebody was trying to use that against you as well. Somebody was hoping that you were going to unalive yourself, but you're still here. Somebody tried to say that you fake you, you fake things, that you do it for attention, but you don't. Tell me more. Somebody was trying to like achieve something in your home environment here. Other people's homes are falling apart for wishing this on you. Somebody wanted you to self-destruct in your home environment and that did not work. Someone could have said something like a, a, about a grandparent, a passing of a grandparent. Something was left from, for you from a grandparent and somebody didn't want you to have this. I'm telling you, somebody has some kind of plan with you in a hotel room and they still got this plan. Don't let them do that. There's that male. There's a male here that's trying to plan something in a hotel room with you. Something is dried out. Something's not able to happen. They've already tried this. Somebody very much is aware why things are falling apart in their life. People could be in certain states that where they're dealing with floodings and tornadoes and people are panicking because you spoke that over them. Somebody's got an accomplice here. And somebody was hoping that this accomplice wasn't going to be outed. I'm telling you, there's like an accomplice that's watching you on social media that's been trying to achieve something. You've been watched very closely. So if you feel like you're being stalked, followed, it's because you are. Always pay attention to your surroundings. Somebody wants you to go missing and something isn't working out like they thought they would. This new person could be trying to like pull you into a hotel room to, to kidnap you. So make sure you're seeing something about that as well. I don't like this other new energy that's trying to come towards you with this phony baloney energy. Trying to make you feel com comfortable to like go with them in a hotel room. Don't do that. Very important. Don't do that. Don't go with anybody that you just met into a hotel room. What do you think they got planned for you? Obviously. All right. Here we go. You're breaking tradition. You are the game changer of your bloodline. And people just don't want to accept that. When people don't want to change our own bloodline, they try to pull us back. They try to stop us. To hell with them. Continue moving forward. It's alive. You're still alive. You're never meant to be alive. People are panicking. Tell me more. These people are on a highway to hell. I'm telling you, there's something about your premonition. I can't make this stuff up. I knew it. You have predicted something over these people's lives and they're panicking and they're they're wanting to know what what more you have to say because the, you've already predicted and now they're worrying what else you're speaking over them they're panicking dude you had people that wanted to gossip to get you to relieve relive your past traumas that's not who you are anymore you have like you're not your past self anymore you've outgrow everything so this gossip wasn't able to stick if it ever was before tell me more Somebody didn't want you to stand up for what's right, and boy, are you. And that luck is turning in your favor. Prosperity, everything isn't going in your favor. You're very, who you're very powerful. I'm telling you, there's something about this powerful bloodline that you come from. When you speak over people, it happens to these people. You can predict things. You have, you come from a very powerful bloodline. Your ancestors are very much in tune with you, giving you these gifts. That's why you're able to activate these manifestations. You're very powerful. Make sure that you're only calling good things in because it's you're very powerful. Somebody was hoping these secrets were going to stop you all together and they ain't stopping nothing. They're being exposed for the awful, hateful people that they are. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. This is all going to make sense for you. So keep moving forward on your journey. Don't let anybody knock you off your path. Somebody's got some, I'm telling you, somebody's got some obsessive energy towards you. They're lusting after you. This is somebody that wants to get you in a hotel room to achieve something here. You got a bunch of people that wanted to follow the crowd and gossip about you, and now they're all turning on each other. They're being exposed. They're dealing with drama. I'm telling you, you have spoken some things over these people. You're a truth speaker. People didn't expect for you to come back and, like, ruin their lives with the truth when they tried to ruin yours with lies. That's what happens. Somebody tried to silence you. Wanted you to be isolated, but this is where you stood in your power and you started focusing on your manifestations and focusing on yourself more. Somebody thought that they got some kind of good advice to proceed forward with something, but they never did. Your actual person is getting some kind of good advice about you. 
somebody thought that by this good advice that they got, they were going to be able to get you in like a delusion reality, only for these people to be in their own delusion reality. Man. All right. Virgo. You got some people upset and in their feelings right now. You got a lot of people perceiving themselves that they're doing okay, but they're not. They're falling apart on the inside, guys. They're falling apart in their environments, their, like their home lives. They're not doing well. Somebody thought that you was going to be sad, upset, and hurt over what they've done, and you're not hurt at all. Tell me more. You had somebody that was trying to impersonate you, trying to copy you. You had somebody here that was trying to say that you were copying them, but they're, in fact, copying you. That's why copycats got to convince everybody you're the copycat. Because it's a projection of them, what they're doing. They're the actual copycat. Anything to get, to, to get your person to move on from you is what the goal was. But it didn't work. This person's coming back for you. There's somebody trying to get back in. Whether it's a friend or a, somebody here that toyed with you. They're trying to come back. Don't let them do that. Somebody's getting some kind of evidence about some kind of hatred that somebody had towards you. Somebody is trying to plant some kind of evidence against you, trying to shame you still. There's somebody that's holding a grudge. Don't let them do this because somebody's wanting to do this towards you. Tell me more. Okay, so the gossiping was saying that you're a show-off, that you perceive yourself to have more than what you do. No, we don't. We like what we like. That's what you do, though. That's a projection of yourself. Let's keep that real. I'm telling you, you've got some like stalking energy that's following you around. I'm not telling you this to make you paranoid, just to make you more aware. Always pay attention to your surroundings. Make sure that you are always clocking people. Pay attention to your environment. Tell me more. Somebody thought that they were going to like say that you were a thief, that you took things that didn't belong to you, but that's being aired out as a lie. Somebody wanted to take something from you, but they can't. Tell me more. Somebody was gossiping about your old habits here, too. Whether you suffer from addictions, they were trying to bring that up to try to, to make you feel bad about yourself. But what's funny about these people is that they have their own addictions. They are doing things themselves. They want to pull your skeletons out of the closet when they got their own. Don't be sweeping dirt off of people's porches when yours is filthy itself, okay? Stay in your lane. We're too busy winning. That's what we're doing. We're winning. And we're going to ignore the haters because somebody wanted you to feel like you were dirty, like something like you weren't meant to have something that you were just this dirty offer. Don't go towards this person. We ignoring it because we know it's a projection of yourself, man. Go heal. Got people watching you for fake accounts thinking that they were going to enjoy this gossip and see if it's stuck. It ain't sticking. Somebody wanted to paint you out as an obsessive karmic lover, unhealthy, dangerous, toxic, gets off on it. No, that's not who we are. That's who you are. That's the projection of yourself. Okay? There is like a karmic, like an obsessive karmic energy that's trying to like come towards you. Something is going in your favor and somebody can't handle this. Somebody's been trying to use scarcity tactics to stop you from what's rightfully yours. It didn't work. You're so unfazed by what these people have done. You're so unimpressed by these people. They really thought that they had a, a strong impact in your life. They ain't got nothing. Virgo. You have people here that wanted you to cling to the past, cling cling to old choices that you've done. Don't let anybody shame you for what you've been through. It's your journey. Don't let anybody pass judgment. These people got things about their own life that they don't want to be judged for, but this is somebody's karma. Tell me more. Own family trying to cloud judgments about you, about this person coming towards you. That's what they were trying to do. Even this, your, your person's own family was also trying to create illusions to stop a union from happening. Tell me more. Somebody was trying to use abandonment wounds against you, codependency wounds against you. That's why they went so hard to gossip about you. This is a lot of very stubborn, arrogant, ego-driven people. Wanted to like claim you were these things, but that's who they are. Man. These people are bitter as hell. Because it just, what they try to do ain't working. It's not sticking. They're being exposed for the haters that they are. And they don't want that.
Somebody thought they were going to be able to bring mixed signals towards you and it didn't work. Now they're still trying to figure this out. So make sure you're seeing something for what it is because somebody's trying to return. Somebody's trying to make amends with you, trying to heal something here. You're very beautiful. And it causes jealousy. Oh, well, sounds like a them problem. And not only are you beautiful, you have this beautiful light that is very glowing right now. Like your healing is making you that much more attractive, guys. Somebody wanted you to be stuck in like self-pity, lost grief, depression. This is what other people are getting now. They're in an emotional storm because it's what they wanted for you. And they're realizing that they could not break you at all. And it makes them think, how can I distract this person? How can I distract my karma from coming in? Because this karma is striking down on people. Your ecstasy. If somebody's trying to get in your energy here, don't let, don't let a lustful energy try to like siphon your energy sexually because that's what they want to do. You're the divine feminine and this is you understanding who you are and what you can attract towards you and boy are you understanding it and everybody's shocked and there's your soulmate that you're meant to have a union with. Somebody wants to ruin that. Don't let them ruin that. Somebody could try to make it think that they're your soulmate to get in the way of your actual soulmate. Don't fall for that. That's what somebody wants to do but they only want to embarrass you and shame you so don't let them do that. I'm telling you, you have predicted something over these people and they are panicking big time. I mean, big time panicking. All right, beautiful Virgo. That was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Wednesday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you. See you Wednesday.